Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. I think this is the longest I've ever been able to continue a series like this. Uh, so two weeks, give me some love down there in, in, in the doobly-doo. I have another, I, I, I almost have all the videos done for this month. And I'm thinking about doing uh, Sunday Cinema tonight when this video goes live at 7 p.m. Uh, if, if this goes up on Sunday, I hope I put it up on Sunday. But uh, at 7 p.m. we're going to be watching The People Under the Stairs. I won't be live streaming the movie, only me watching the movie. It's free on Peacock. So if you'd like to join me, stop on by. But today we are talking about... The, whoa, sorry, not the anything. Benny Rose, The Cannibal King by Haley Piper. And yes, this channel is becoming a bit of a uh, Haley Piper fanboy forum, and I have no problem with that whatsoever. Because, again, if you're here just to find out what I thought about the book, whether or not I liked it and you want to go read it for yourself, the I call it the TLDW Too Long Didn't Watch, I absolutely adored this book, and I'm about to tell you why. Uh, so... Uh, Haley Piper was kind enough to send me uh, re review copies of all, all of her work, and this is another one. I, I was going to wait until next month to do another one of her books because I already did one this month, but I just I, I wanted it, and it's a Halloween story. It's Halloween themed. Here, let me put this up. Anyways, so the story revolves around a group of friends. Um, I'm not going to remember all of their names, but the main three that I do remember is Jesse, uh, uh, Desiree, and, oh, I just blanked on the other one. What was the other one? Oh, man, I'm, I'm kicking myself because I really like this character. And now I can't remember. It's not Sierra. I do remember Sierra, though. Uh, was there a Paul? I believe there was a Paul. Well, there, was, there, was a third, there was a third girl that I wanted to remember, and my, I just kept, went completely blank. But uh, they're going out. Oh, uh, Gabriel. I'm sorry, Gabriel. This is a whole, whole point of, of the story. So Gabriel is new to town, um, and Desiree and Sierra and Jesse are going to play a prank on her using... Uh, her, uh, Desiree's boyfriend? I, I, I can't remember which of the, where it was very, very, the boyfriend was there a very short period of time. Um, but they're going to use him to pull a prank, um, a Benny Rose themed prank, uh, and scare Gabriel because it's all folklore, right? Benny Rose doesn't actually exist. Uh, what I, I really loved about this one is it's kind of like, uh, what I really enjoyed about Adam Cesar's, uh, Clown in the Cornfield is that they're, you know, there's Friendo the Clown and that one, and this one, Benny Rose is is all over the place. You know, especially during Halloween, his pictures up on on glass storefronts, he's all over the place. You know, and I think stuff like that is really cool. Um, I like it when a town, you know, like Roswell, New Mexico, they've really embraced you know UFO culture, that 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 kind of thing. I really enjoy that. Um, but anyways, so. I don't want to give too much away, but Benny Rose is, of course, real, um, and there, there's some folklore behind uh, him burning down a hospital to cover up murders, or so, so on and so forth, um, but the the twist at the end regarding that is so magnificently done. I, I did not... So throughout the entire book, I was thinking, well, this is pretty simple for a Haley Piper book. I mean, there's got to be something special here, and it was the ending. Um, I'm talking about the uh, the actual real folklore, the sh real story behind Benny Rose, and the way they, the, the way, the, 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 the final girl status, how they achieved the final girl status. Uh, that's too many spoilers, E, too many spoilers. Anyways, um, there's, I, I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen anything like the ending of this book. In fact, I was reading this one with my buddy Brad Proctor. Um, he's a YouTuber also. Uh, has a fantastic YouTube channel, booktube channel, whatever you want to call it. I read this one with him. We both agree this one should be a movie. And he mentioned the ending of this one being a bit like The Descent. I don't think that's a, the, a spoiler, but only to a certain point. Um, I get where he's coming from, but this one... but. It is, it is disgusting, it is brutal, it is almost to the point funny. I don't want to say that it was silly, but it was like, hell fuck, yeah. I was laughing and cheering at the end uh, by, because Benny had put this group of friends through so much hell by the end of it that I was just like, there needs to be some some comeuppance. There needs to be some, you know, some gnarly, you know, retribution and God damn there was. Uh, Haley, if you watch this, Haley tends to watch these videos. <laughs> Bravo. Um, but 
here, here at the end, I want to make note of something truly, truly special. This story at its heart, and I said this on Twitter earlier today, uh, this story at its heart is a dissection of storytelling and the power of embellishment in folklore. I, 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 I can't, har it, it is so well done. To, to be on the surface, again, all of Haley's stuff and her catalog is completely eclectic. There's always something special. There's that one special thing that brings this from like, you know, maybe something that might be three or four. Otherwise, if someone else had written it, but Haley comes along and she throws this curveball. There's always something special about her work. She's done bizarro tentacle monster stuff, vagina dentata. She's done that. She's done a uh, very, very Clive Barker, cosmic horror-ish underground thing with the worm and his kings. The first one I talked about was Queen of Teeth. I've already reviewed it on the channel. This month, actually. Um, and this one is, it seems, on the surface, it seems so simple. Like, you're just your typical monster slasher. You're, I don't want to say supernatural, but it, 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 it is. You know, it, it's it's more of a later Jason movie kind of thing than it is, you know, like a, a, a first Halloween movie kind of thing. It's not, it's not rooted in real life whatsoever, um, is what I'm getting at. Um, with, with uh, it, it's, I, I really wish, fuck it, I'm going to do a spoiler section. All right, so if you don't, you should have already clicked away and went and bought this and read it for yourself if you haven't read it. So, spoilers in three, two, one, spoilers. Okay, so Benny Rose did not cause the fire at the hospital. Benny Rose was trapped with, the, with five kids and they ate each other. Um, and then he's coming back you know, every Halloween or I, I'm pretty sure he's every Halloween. They mention how uh, every time there's solstice or equinox or whatever, um, the veil is thin between the worlds. But Benny Rose in particular only comes back on Halloween. But that's where the story came from. Everybody thinks that Benny Rose was a cannibal before the hospital. But what made him the cannibal is getting trapped inside of the hospital. Uh, throughout uh, this, it was such a cool twist. I got I got goosebumps right now just talking about it. But it was such a cool twist that you see this. But then at the end, the va very last couple of pages with Haley talking about the three sisters, um, and the, just the lore that has carried on after they defeat uh, Benny Rose, man, and them killing him with their own teeth, them eating him. But I, you, you've never seen anything quite... I, I haven't anyways. I won't say you. I won't put that on you, you the, 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 the audience or whatever you want to call you guys. But uh, the it's... I, I've never seen anything like it. And it was so brutal because just touching his skin will burn you. So they had to, they had to go through immense trauma and physical agony to kill this thing. And the death was so well... Everything was so well done. It was so earned. Everything in here is fantastic because, like I said, on surface level, it doesn't seem like anything more than a slasher. And then you get all this wonderful goodness at the end. Haley, if, you, if you're watching, still watching, if you even watch, thank you. It's a fantastic Halloween horror novel. And I will probably... It's so, it's so short. It's 150 pages. I'll probably read it every single year because I do the same thing with uh, Ray Bradbury's The Halloween Tree. This will become a staple of my Halloween reading. I know it will. Uh, but have you guys read Benny Rose, The Cannibal King by Haley Piper. What did you think about it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you feel mad about it? If you felt any of those things, explain yourself in detail so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!